trolley troubles, what I call it when I can't remember the name of the trolley problem. A Henry Winkler production. All he did was fix the camera by hitting it with his fist. I bet the names Universal and Disney will always go together and never be pit against each other. Maybe the trolley would have fewer troubles if it wasn't being used to launch kids into a bucket. Are these kids all Oswalds? He really has been the lucky rabbit. You can build this exact launcher in Tears of the Kingdom. It'd be easier to clean if kids weren't actively scuffing it up at the same time. That's why I never get any cleaning done. I don't have a detachable ass. Oh my, this is a pre-code cartoon. Ah yes, mustn't forget to oil the trolley's blackhead. And that kid died. The latest in transportation technology, fusing a jack-in-the-box with a pull-string doll. I just know that that trolley should sound like Mel Blanc as Jack Benny's car. But I don't want to go to the neighborhood and make believe. Those puppets are terrifying. Oswald's Runaway Trolleyway. All right, let's do a wheelie the whole way. Or not, if you hate fun. Still a better boarding experience than flying southwest. Oh, I hated this part of Mario RPG. When does Gromit start laying down tracks? Twisted Colossus really messes you up even before the lift hill. This is really making me less impressed with Reed Richards. Hey, Clarabelle's cousin, who wears glasses to appear more intellectual than the rest of her hick family. Oh, look at that pose. He's definitely bunsplaining. Boy, I bet Oswald wishes he had a classroom film about barbed wire right about now. Come on, don't make me force your mouth open to play music. I guess in black and white, we can't prove this isn't a purple cow. Ugh, there's never a twister when you need one. He wasn't trying to move her, he just thought her tail would detach like his did. Are the animals in the trolley standing on top of each other? It looks like a concept sketch for the stuffed animal pile from E.T. That's it, we're gonna have a casualty! Oop, cow beats trolley. These new rock, paper, scissors editions are tough. Director of Photography, Captain Hook. Now why couldn't the car who T-boned me in the intersection just do that? Oomph, I'm off to go misspell things on a billboard for homophobic chicken. Rub it in, Oswald. Hubris is only ever rewarded. Oh no, they ended up on the hang time track. Oswald the Sisyphusian Rabbit. Oh, this is my favorite scene in Spider-Man 2. This was before goats just sat on the side of the track eating dynamite. Get the trolley going with a double concussion. And twice the butt pain. I know, I'll pole vault over the mountain. They're auditioning to stand outside a used car dealership. Ah, Medieval Times is getting goat scabs to do their jousting. The little engine that couldn't without the help of a goat. 10,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet. This feels like the track layer's fault for not just having the track go around the mountain. At this point, can he still be considered a lucky rabbit? We're losing passengers left and right, but it's still safer than flying on a Boeing. And the bunny hops at the end of Incredicoaster. This short really predicted every park in SoCal. Boy, they've really built up San Francisco since then. Calvin and Hobbes' sled is safer than this trolley. Ooh, Nelvana's Tintin is starting. 
Ah, the end of North by Northwest. Ah, and again. Okay, are all your body parts detachable? Please don't answer that. Previously, in this same cartoon... Shouldn't one of these tunnels get him out of Toontown and back to live-action L.A.? Oh, and Shonash Ravine is renamed Oswald Ravine. And he's fished out in Forrest Gump's net. I could have done this whole short with only Zemeckis references if I wanted to. So that's how Huckleberry Finn starts, huh? Detachable tail and credits? Oswald's ass is versatile. And that was the very first Oswald the Lucky Rabbit short. I guess he's lucky to be alive. I don't know. This was clearly sponsored by some anti-public transportation lobby. Maybe this was secretly another Chevrolet short the whole time. Could have used more Nicky Gnome. I would like to thank my patrons, not only for their continued financial support, but for helping me brainstorm jokes for this riff on a Patreon livestream. These fine folks were all crammed into the riff trolley, and fortunately, they did not fall out while bouncing on the hills of joke opportunities. If you would like to join the next Patreon livestream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And if you want to keep up with everything I'm doing for free, go to Doggins.com to sign up for my email newsletter, The Doggins Digest. It's like a social media algorithm of my stuff, except reliable. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to negotiate ownership of this riff with the ghost of Charles Mintz. So until next time, this is Dave signing off.